The 275 adopted its name from the fact that the engine capacity of each cylinder is 275cc. This is why this car is the Ferrari 275 GTB4 with the four camshafts. The 275 is a special car. It's a car that I've had for about four or five years now. The gentleman that owned it was a friend of mine and when he decided to downsize some of his collection, I said, well, if you're going to sell that car, then I'd like to be given the first option to buy it, which he gave me and I bought it. As a matter of fact, I bought it on my birthday, so it was a birthday present from me to me. <laughs> They only built about 900 of them worldwide, I believe. This car had just been fully restored. When you have a look at some of the photos of how it was before it went to restoration, it was in a limey blue-green colour. The green leather seats were quite worn. Stripped it back to uh, the bare shell, and it has had a full rotisserie rebuild with every component, nut and bolt, gone right through. All the mechanical components are the original components, so there's no substitute components put in the car at all. It's 100% original. They run six dual throat weavers, so it's basically one carburetor per cylinder. To uh, fit the four camshafts in, they had to alter the configuration from 60 degrees to uh, 54 degrees. That gave tremendous horsepower difference over the 275 two cam. Being a 3.3 litre motor, you do have to drive it through the gears and use the engine revs. It's not like running a six litre V8. It's a V12, but it's a small V12, so therefore you've got to make it work a bit harder. The pad material that I'm running in this car is a slight competition pad, which gives it a little bit more grip. Because I have access to the racing pad materials, it's a little bit higher wearing, but it's, it gives a better feel. The little ducktail spoiler on the back for the aerodynamics, this finish here, and particularly the back window, it's just a, a, a lovely finish, the way that they've got these vents and the whole thing flows, you know, it hasn't got too much parasite drag, I don't think. It's amazing in mid-60s, uh, here's transaxles being used uh, with 300 odd horsepower and today in our V8 supercars we're running similar transaxles with 650 horsepower. <laughs> Ferrari built these cars. They were built as a competition car back in the 60s. It doesn't oversteer, it doesn't understeer, it's pretty neutral. I think the fact that Steve McQueen owned one of these cars, I, I knew that he had had one in the 60s when the recent sale of the Steve McQueen car at Monterey last year, it makes you feel good that at least this is uh, from the same family. Lovely car to run down the freeway on a Sunday morning. The sound of the car is fantastic out on open road. It's quite boring driving them in top gear because you're sitting back at about 1,500 or 2,000 revs, but if you want to give it a, a, a bit of a boot full, I'll drop it back through the gears, back to third, fourth, up to fifth, and, uh, and you can really hear the car perform as it likes to. people hear the sound, you pull up to a parking spot and people will turn around and say, what a great car, I love the sound of it. 